First it was Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, then it was Black Ops 3, and finally finishing off with Infinite Warfare. These were some of the best games in the Call of Duty franchise in my opinion. You either loved or hated these games and that was due to the fact that they all had jetpacks in them. But for today's video I wanted to go over a little speculation and opinion video on why I think that Call of Duty 2024 with Treyarch's new release will 100% feature jetpacks in the game. YouTube, how's everyone doing? One shot bringing you guys another video and if you're new to the channel please be sure to hit that subscribe button. We go over everything Call of Duty related here on the channel as well as some other FPS games. We're about three and a half weeks away from the release of Modern Warfare 2. I have a bunch of content planned for you guys so you won't want to miss that. But like I said in the intro today I wanted to go over why I think that jetpacks will be returning to Call of Duty in 2024. So for those of you not aware Call of Duty has switched to a two-year game cycle and removed Sledgehammer games as a main developer. So now it will be just Treyarch and Infinity Ward releasing the games with Infinity Ward set to release their Modern Warfare 2 in just about three weeks in 20. 2022. That means that Treyarch's next release will not be until November or October of 2024. With three years to work on this game, I think Treyarch is going to put out an amazing product. If you guys remember back when Black Ops Cold War came out, they were thrown into that developer cycle with just over a year to work on that game. So I think that's why that game wasn't as polished as it could have been. A lot of people did like Black Ops Cold War. However, I was just not a fan. It didn't really do much for me. I felt like it was missing quite a bit as far as content goes and maps and game modes and whatnot. But with three Three years I think Treyarch is really gonna put out a good product because I think if you talk with most people in the Call of Duty community they would say their favorite developer is Treyarch although Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War was not a huge success with the three years that they have to work on Call of Duty 2024 good things are to come now that we got that out of the way I wanted to take a look at recent trends from some of the games that have come out over the last couple years with the exception of Black Ops 4 in 2018 all of the games that have come out since 2017 have been either World War 2 Cold War or modern based 2017 was Call of Duty World War II, 2019 was Call of Duty Modern Warfare, 2020 was Black Ops Cold War, 2021 was Vanguard, and then obviously 2022 we have Modern Warfare 2 coming up. With most of these recent releases being set in the past or the modern era, that means our last Call of Duty release with a jetpack was back in 2016 with Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. This eight year gap between jetpack games would leave a perfect opportunity on the table for Treyarch to reintroduce jetpacks to the Call of Duty community in a brand Brand new series of games that has not been used before completely go away from the Cold War and Black Ops theme and introduce a new series of Call of Duty games to the community. With all the graphics, technology, and software upgrades over the last eight years, I think that Jetpack games could do extremely well in the Call of Duty community. We've seen how well the new movement style has worked in games like Modern Warfare and Vanguard and now Modern Warfare 2. The movement style behind Jetpacks could be refined on these new technology improvements and new consoles that we have available to us. And I think that the Call of Duty community would really support something like this. But that's all I have for you guys today. I just wanted to go over my opinion on why I think that Call of Duty 2024 will return to jetpacks. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Do you think they're going to return to jetpacks or will Call of Duty 2024 stay in the modern era or even go back to the past? Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much and I'll see you in the next video.